a film where John Cena runs as president. That's it. I've seen it all. Nothing left to see. Let's talk about the new Peacock film, The Independent, and let's see if it's worth your time. Hey everybody, my name's Justin here. I try to watch everything that hits theaters and on streaming services just like Peacock. If you guys are like me, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and click that bell notification for more up and coming content. In the final week of the most consequential presidential election in history, America is poised to elect either its first female president or its first viable independent candidate. Reporting history as it's made, an idolistic young journalist teams up with her idol, legendary journalist Nick Booker, to uncover a conspiracy that places the fate of the election and the country in her hands. My interest level for political thrillers is so low. I hardly check them out. I cannot get interested in them whatsoever. I'm just really not into politics. I was curious about this film because of John Cena as a presidential candidate and seeing how he would handle more of a drama role. I really like John Cena as an actor. He's a little bit cheesy at times. He has those action films. He has those kids films. But I like to see him take on a little bit more of dramatic roles. And so this is one I was curious about. I thought The Independent was decent. At times it's a little unclear with what it wants to be, but for the most part, it's a pretty simple film. And I think one of the reasons why I don't check out political thrillers as much is because they just get a little bit convoluted. There's so much going on, so many name drops, so many conspiracy theories happening. And with The Independent, it's simple. I mean, it's dumbed down probably for me as I really don't check them out. But for the most part, it's just straight to the point. You understand what the conspiracy theory is and you understand how important it is to get this news out. On one hand, the film wants to be a story about journalism and how you have to work your way up the ranks and the important piece and the truth behind it all and where your morals stand but also on the other hand it wants to be a film about president candidates and their beliefs and uh, debates as well and how they get to the top and conspiracy theories surrounding them at times i'm not sure what the main focus is because we do get a lot of jody turner smith as she plays this young journalist she's fighting with herself does she release this information or does she protect her career on the other hand we have the chance of having the first female president we also have john cena who is playing this candidate who is on the independent side and we see the debates we see their beliefs and that takes up a large majority of the film but the two mix together but each side is not as strong as I hoped it would be. I do think some of the performances in here are really good. John Cena as his presidential candidate, I liked him in here. He fit the candidate very well. He was selling what he was believing in and trying to get uh, the crowd involved in everything. He was decent within the film. I think Jodie Turner Smith's character could have had a little more dramatic moments to her because she's struggling quite often with what she learned about these candidates. Does she throw away her career just to release this information? And at times she is contemplating certain things. And I think those moments could have had some real dramatic scenes to it, but they just felt completely average. The writing in here is weak and it doesn't really expand on the premise of the film and the dialogue too it feels a lot like it's an exposition scene with what the, with conversations between Jodie Turner Smith and her idol played by Brian Cox there is a lot of dialogue that's just telling us about these candidates and what they are doing and their conspiracy theories and the information that can be released and the impact it may have a lot of the dialogue just feels like it's serving a purpose of telling us what we need to know but also not going very deep and not expanding on it and giving us the personal moments the emotional scenes to it and bringing out these characters and their real beliefs all of it just is hitting that surface level and not really diving deeper into it and i would like to see a little more of that personal touch to it and the dialogue that is gripping and personal that dialogue that is gripping and really challenging these characters it doesn't really expand it doesn't really hit that for me but I do like the characters and the premise, but there's so much more it could have done with the dialogue and the way that the characters were written. Delivery on this film could have been stronger. It's messy. I understood its premise and what it was trying to do, 
but that clear unfocus on does it want to be a story about journalism or does it want to be a story on candidates and their debates and running for president. Those two moments do meet, but I think they are both pretty weak when you look at each side of the film. So The Independent, I enjoyed some aspect to it. I like John Cena in here. I liked him as a presidential candidate. He's trying to sell himself as the next president, but a lot of the dialogue and the storylines for the characters could have been deepened. So before I give you my score for The Independent on Peacock, make sure to check out my channel. Here I do movie reviews, trailer reactions, ranking videos, tier lists, all that fun movie related content that you see on YouTube. I do it all here, so hit that subscribe button and get it all in one spot. And if you like to see where The Independent ranks amongst all of the other 2022 releases I have seen this year, follow me on Letterboxd and there you can find my ranking. I'm gonna go ahead and give The Independent a C plus. Thank you guys for checking my review for The Independent on Peacock. Have you guys seen it by chance? What do you think about it? Let me know what you thought about the film in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up and coming content like this. My name is Justin Watches Movies and you guys stay classy YouTube.